Public health experts are urging voters to take extra care on election day, given the spike in coronavirus cases. There are now more than 2,600 confirmed cases, and if not managed effectively, there are fears that the situation will worsen. Shamela Pullen tells us more. It's left to be seen whether the COVID-19 pandemic will impact voter turnout on Thursday. Based on data from the Ministry of Health, as of September 1, there were 689 active cases in Kingston and St. Andrew, 334 in St. Catherine, 130 active cases in Clarendon, 169 and 145 active cases in St. Thomas and St. James, respectively. Know that COVID-positive persons have been given the go-ahead to vote. Public health specialist Dr. Orville Nemart says heightened safety measures must be a number one priority. Mask from the time they leave their homes. They want to get into the polling stations, minimize congregation. They want to hand sanitize. They want to maintain physical distance. And having voted to leave promptly, again, avoid congregation, uh, get back home into isolation, and on reaching home, sanitize. According to the protocols, persons who have the virus must travel in a private vehicle to the polling stations. In addition to wearing a mask, they must wear gloves and a gown. And before leaving isolation, they are required to inform the Ministry of Health. But head of the School of Public Health at the University of Technology, Professor Winston Davidson says, despite the measures, after election day, there will be a further spike in COVID-19 cases. We know that when it comes to an election day, the people in the communities are going to display a level of indiscipline so that you're going to have an increase in the transmission of the disease. And this is going to give you a further spike in the outbreak of the disease. He's suggesting that once a victor is declared, the next administration should lock down the country to contain the spread of the virus. We have to lock down. We have to make sure that the measures that we put in place can keep pace with this rapid increase in the infection throughout our population. And so we have to go right back to the original measures, lockdown, put in place epidemiological measures, and of course, maintain a tight, very tight uh, control. The country recorded the second highest number of COVID positive cases on Tuesday, 224. Additionally, three senior citizens died arising from complications due to the virus. The Ministry of Health says they had underlying conditions, including Parkinson's disease, hypertension, alcoholism, and diabetes. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.